unvaccinated body exists. Near extinct and easily preventable diseases. It's free real estate. Welcome back, everyone. It sure has been a while, hasn't it? So I thought I would return with one of my favorite classics. Some good old vax happened. Vaccinations cause autism. Anyone with half a brain. That one discredited doctor who published a fraudulent paper. This sign is up in my baby's doctor's office. I'm half-ass tempted to wipe it off when I leave. Never ask Google for medical advice. You will go from a mild headache to clinically dead in three clicks. Well, I have a mild headache right now, so uh, let me just... Uh, crossing my fingers here. All right, everyone, uh, pay attention here. I'm going to introduce you into a new subreddit. r slash do vaccines cause autism. Comprehensive discussion on whether vaccines cause autism. And the only post. No. That is all. Moms against vaccines. I hope this is the satire community. I'm just trying to understand why would the government lie about such a thing? Just wondering. Control. Please elaborate. Nah. Larry Cook, a fine individual, he says, gritting his teeth. Shaken baby syndrome in SIDS, or Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, is deplorable fake news used to cover up vaccine-induced injury and death. Hashtag stop vaccine mandates. Ah yes, because violently shaking an infant, aka child abuse, is now officially a vaccine injury. Normal people. Sony. Anti-vaxxers. Why? Why is my son gone? <laughs> Me, 1985. By 2019, we're gonna have flying cars and be able to take a vacation on Mars. <sighs> Me, 2019. Let's go over this again. The Earth is round. Vaccines work. Nazis are bad. And it's not a good idea to make your child drink industrial bleach. Jack the Time Traveler. Hi, Mom and Dad. I don't vaccinate my kids. <laughs> Rick Pescatore. I could get in a lot of trouble for telling you this, but it's actually the lollipops we give you after the vaccines where we hide all the toxins. What a moron. He's actually admitting that there are toxins. Oh boy, this is gonna pop up in a comment section somewhere. Oh yeah, well I once heard a doctor admit that there are toxins. They're just in the lollipops, you idiots. Oh, great. Unvaccinated versus vaccinated. Eczema, neurodevelopmental disorders, ADHD, autism, learning disabilities, allergies. The truth about who's healthier. Yeah, except there's one minor detail. The artist forgot to make this one a ghost. Ah, over my child's dead body. Well, boy do I have news for you. With three unvaccinated adult children and three unvaccinated granddaughters, all extremely healthy, I will continue to question everything I put in my body as they will. There is plenty of evidence to show us that playing God with the human body and with our planet is dangerous. The human body is self-developing, self-maintaining, and self-healing. It needs no help, just no interference. And yet you are wearing glasses in your profile pic. I skipped my vaccinations and all I got was this measly shirt. Friggin' budget rickshaw over here. ASAP's video on anti-vaxxers, the comments section. Unfortunately, most of you sound like uneducated fools. How long have you spent researching a vaccine? Do you trust the pharmaceutical industry? 
Holy shit, they are showing their research in the video. That's the point. At Satan. Vaccinate your fucking kids. The kids section down here is getting too busy. Jesus Christ. It's true, kids that could be vaccinated, but aren't all go to hell. It's not that they're bad, it's just that we sure as f don't want a measles outbreak in heaven. Some random Karen. Do you trust vaccines now? Literally everyone else. What the f is that supposed to mean? Yeah, well this is pretty far for the anti-vaxxers to go for their claims. I still think my favorite of all time is them claiming that they're on the same level as Holocaust victims. <laughs> uh, like, look at this, in Poland of all places, anti-vaxxers again try to compare themselves to victims of the Nazi concentration camps. You can't make this shit up. I remember back in 2009 when my cousin's children were vaccinated for swine flu. Ironically, they caught the swine flu. While all my children, who were not vaccinated, were healthy and beautiful. Vaccines don't work. Prove me wrong. Hashtag anti-vax, hashtag vaccines are bad. Fix your grammar before you run around pretending to be educated. Thanks. You're... Yeah, <laughs> fix you our grammar. People who tell me I shouldn't drink lava. The media. People who lie. The media. Conclusion. I am going to drink lava. I, I'm, a, I'm a geologist with no association to the media and I would not recommend drinking lava. Get a load of big geology trying to oppress the voice of the people. Teach the controversy. Drink the lava. This is how you anti-vaxxers sound. If you couldn't quite get the joke. Hard hitting notice in my doctor's surgery. Do you say sorry? Not vaccinating your kids leaves them vulnerable to disease their whole lives. When your daughter gets rubella when pregnant, how are you going to explain that you chose to leave her at risk? What will you say when she calls you and tells you she has cervical cancer because you decided that she wouldn't need the HPV vaccine? What do you tell your son when he breaks the news to you that he cannot have kids, thanks to the bumps that he got as a teenager? And what do you say when he gives influenza to his grandma? How do you explain that she won't be coming home from the hospital? Not ever. Do you tell them that you didn't think these diseases were that serious? That you thought that your organic, home-cooked food was enough to protect them? Do you say sorry? Hey, uh, kids, can you say, uh, oof? Dad, why do I have polio? When you were little, the internet and your mom's yoga instructor said that vaccines cause autism. Anyway, sorry your legs don't work. It's amazing that people think that simply listing the ingredients of vaccines is a persuasive argument that they are dangerous. Ingredients of all natural blueberries. Oh my god, let's see. Uh, sugar, fructose, glucose. Methionine? It has meth in the name. That must mean it's bad. Oh my god, I can't even pronounce half of these. They must all be poison. Wait a minute. What's that that I see in there? Hexanal? Oh god, that must be what does the homosexuality. Oh my god, another meth ingredient. And fresh air? What are they doing to our children? Well, the best way to fight conspiracy is with an even crazier conspiracy theory. Here we go. Fourth year med student reporting in. Had a rotation with a pediatrician where we end up in a classic encounter with an anti-vaccination parent. This lady was a conspiracy theory magnet. She casually mentioned everything from 9-11 to chemtrails. Of course she loved the idea of the vaccine conspiracy as well, opting to not protect her one-year-old to stick it to Big Pharma. I relayed all this to my attending after my exam. I would see the patient first, gather history, and do my exam to present to my attending physician. 
he got this sort of lazy smirk on his face that screamed, watch this. We go back into the exam room and we cover all the important bits of a well-child encounter. Growth charts, behavioral milestones, nutrition, sleep, and then we get to vaccines. She lists approximately 15 reasons why vaccines are more dangerous than the disease they protect against. <laughs> In addition to the various evils of the pharmaceutical industry. My attending listens quietly until she's done with her soapbox about one eternity later, and then interjects with, Have you considered the possibility that anti-vaccine propaganda could be an attempt by the Russians or the Chinese to weaken the health of the United States population? In a moment of catastrophic cognitive dissonance, I swear I heard a strange popping noise as her brain misfired. It actually broke her. The allure of the increasingly ridiculous conspiracy theory was just too strong. She ended up agreeing to a modified vaccine schedule. I was flabbergasted. My attending just grinned at me in response. To this day, I'm not sure the medical ethics of the situation are totally palatable, but goddamn, the result was amazing. Why does everyone say that unvaxxed kids are gonna just drop dead in a second? That is a blatant lie and misinformation. Unvaxxed kids are going to be fine until they turn 30 or more, and then they're going to catch chicken pox from some kid, but their bodies won't be ready for the virus. So, they'll die slowly in a hospital with a painful rash, burning up, wishing they were dead, but if they're lucky to survive, they'll have severe disabilities and scars for the rest of their lives. Have fun. Yeah, from what I've seen and read, chickenpox as an adult is just absolutely brutal. If you uh, want a fun time, just Google uh, chickenpox as an adult versus chickenpox as a kid and just see how fun it gets. My friend is a doctor. He knows my son is vaccine injured. He looked me dead in my face tonight and says, and I quote, I'll get paid an extra $40,000 to vaccinate 100 kids, so I don't care. I'm doing it. I didn't even know what to say. People like this are what is wrong in this world. Holy, are they actually getting $40,000 to vaccinate 100 kids? I'm in the wrong profession if that's the case. Oh my God. Wait, no. Last time there was a Dr. Oz, there was a huge, huge problem. I should maybe uh, take a step back. Guys, I'm at Redacted. soccer practice and Karen keeps bullying me for being anti-vax. Hashtag stop bullying. Wait, what the f did Karen just change teams? Healthy triplets all became autistic within hours of vaccination. Once again, demonstrating that vaccines cause autism. The parents. The McDowell family in Detroit, Michigan have spoken out publicly against the horrific medical violence being committed against children every day across America through toxic vaccines. The names of their three children pictured below are Richie, Robbie, and Claire. All three children were vaccinated on the same day, and within hours, they all became severely autistic. You know, despite the fact that it uh, takes several years for any signs of autism to actually show up, and <laughs> I doubt that it would only take a couple hours for you to tell that infants have become severely autistic. The most inexpensive biological warfare possible, and it worked. Russian trolls field anti-vaccination debate in US by spreading misinformation on Twitter. Does this mean I can start blaming the uh, minion memes on the Russian trolls now? Thank you for watching this abundance of misinformation. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, whatnot. I've got a new microphone and a new kind of desktop setup here. So um, that's why there was a huge delay. Amazon didn't ship a mounting bracket, so that sent me back about four days. That was great. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time.